Hello and welcome again to another episode of Clowning Earth. I'd like to say, as always, thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who watches my video to help me get this going up off the ground and moving forward. Now, uh, we've all done it, as we know. We just pass up on the we're shopping with people in places and we see those crappy little blasters with the brightly colored boxes sitting in places like Walgreens and Walmart and Giant Food Store and you think, oh my god, who the hell would buy that? Because you know it's just a miserable piece of garbage. Well, guess what I did? I bought a couple of them and that's what we're going to do today is go over a few of them and probably have a good laugh at it. At least I will because I know I wasted some money on this crap. So without any further ado, let's go see what I got for my money, huh? Okay, so first off the bat, I'd like to apologize if they just get jumpy here because for some reason my camera is acting up. I don't quite know what's going on, but I'll have to figure it out as we go along here. Now as you can see, I got a whole bunch of just garbage blasters or something I picked up at a Walgreens. Uh, this was a family dollar. This was... Uh, I think another family dollar or a dollar store. This one I actually got from work. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. It's very unprofessional. Mm, and none too fresh. And <laughs> I actually picked this one up from work at my uh, giant mega wall place of employment where they put everything out there. Uh, all that good garbage. It's there. Um, I'll just pick one and go into it, I guess. So let's clear the board here and we'll start in with the wow kapow foam shot i actually had one of these as a kid and absolutely love it in fact one of my earlier blasters i have just managed to dig out of stuff from my uh, mom's sh shed here is uh, i got it hanging on the door is one of my favorite toys is this thing it shot these darts that have hard plastic stakes and for some reason I don't know why I decided I'd bite all of the the suction cups but it, had, it still worked and it has a safety which is bizarre but it's got some serious kick to it I used to love to play with this thing when I was a kid and it, I guess I don't know it kind of goes all the way back till then for nerfing even further because I didn't have a lot of stuff like that when I was a child not that it was up against my parents wanting anything, they just, it just wasn't given or wasn't purchased. So we're gonna go into this. The Wild Kapow foam shot, oozy looking piece of blaster. And we're gonna just go around the border here with my trusty, rusty finger slicer of death. And the packaging is actually pretty cool. I gotta give it to that on a lot of these things that they got with these cheap blasters we're going to readjust this here real quick so i can get down here a little better and see i don't have to reach so far up onto my desk there we go i guess i was go for the the blood the packaging on these are actually you know kind of crap wow that is hard plastic well i hope this thing has got any range claims of velocity or anything like that because somebody is seriously going to get hurt it is not an openable, and it does have an air restrictor on it for some reason. A uh, couple little targets on the back. Uh, I guess I could cut those out and set them around somewhere. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this stuff, but I paid for it. Uh, surprisingly, it's made by Ja Rule. Uh, <laughs> they actually make some neat stuff. It comes with these little bathroom fixture type man that you you set up like this and then you're gonna just stuff the oh wow that's this thing better have some kind of safety first yeah where's safety here we'll just yeah because you know we don't want to get injured so let's take care of that so <laughs> just a little pull back and oh it feels like it's already breaking kind of don't want to put my hand in front of it, but I'm going to because I know it's still going to get my damn hand in the trigger weld. Ah, God, that's cramped. Son of a bitch. Ah, I can't even pull it to get my hand in there to pull the damn thing. It just... Ah, oh, that's, yeah, pretty much as expected. 
yeah um what retailed for about four bucks that was a kind of a waste of money <laughs> i can't even use the darts for anything because these these things are i mean hard and the foam is really crap compared to a nerf you know mega dart here which roughly the same size i mean i guess i could i don't know i mean oh wow they're hardly even glued on here they just God, what, where in China was this thing made? Not in the same place they make Nerf stuff, that's for sure. Ah, Ja Rule. Okay. Well, best thing I can say about it is that the darts are going to seriously hurt somebody. So if you want to do that, go ahead. And I got two little decorative knobs I can place on the... I can glue to my bathroom sink. So I have man bathroom sink things. Because the blaster itself is... <laughs> ah, what a difficult trigger prime. Some, somebody somewhere, some grandma thought this was an excellent gift for a kid. Ah, poor kid. Anyways, on to the next one. I'm kind of excited about this. It's Look at this. It's the, the color. Another Jaru product. Okay. Okay, so Jaru... I, I can't remember that they make. They make other stuff that's actually a viable thing. But these guys, come on, guys. Jacksonville, Florida, okay? Made in China. Jacksonville, Florida, made in China. So I, I guess they're shipping them over on the rafts that aren't viable. Uh, <laughs> here's the back of this thing. Not... A whole lot. It's got your basic instructions. Apparently, it's got some parts to go with it. Uh, clips and different things. We'll just get into it, open it up here. Slice this sucker open. I'm going to put my phone on quiet because I don't need it going off again here and come around the darts. I'm kind of disappointed that both of these products I got here are made by Ja Rule. I was kind of hoping I'd get other stuff from other places but apparently not once again the packaging on these things are nuts okay well the foam dart heads are actually foam and they're flat like really flat like you no know, like flat flat and no hole in them either that's kind of kind of weird solid they're using becarod and they're glued right on the top uh quality is actually seeming okay it feels a bit like stacks of craft foam for the top of this thing which gives me an idea to make other darts myself but we'll see how this goes <laughs> get these things here uh, wow handle is actually comfortable I'm impressed it does feel very much like the cheapest plastic in the world and it rattles quite a bit but let's go for the full assembly effect uh, and, uh, no, there we go, okay, here's one, and the other, looks like this thing is actually screwed together, no, I think if you take a good look, you probably can't see it, but it appears that, I'll turn my light around here, that they are using hex or some kind of, no, they're actual screws. So I might actually open this thing up as an addendum later. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Look at that. And it's not it's not even centered. It's like off to the side, completely way off track. Hammer. Oh, well, it's actually a comfortable shell. It lends itself really cool to some kind of paint job. Interesting to see. You can see it's got some cheap o air restrictors in the top there interesting to see how this thing works i'm guessing because there's no pieces i can i'm guessing it shoots two at a time so let's give it the full load and the full look that dart's got a fault in the side of it here we'll go like this give it a prime and yeah two at once actually somewhat respectable for being a piece of garbage like that uh i've seen i've seen a lot worse in my day and the, the just give you the comparison the darts only go go in about yay far which is actually further than some 
Nerf Blasters, I'm actually impressed at how hard it's shooting. The shell is cool. I'll give it that. Uh, I might make a paint job out of this thing. Uh, or maybe pop it open, like I said. I'll, we'll find out. It'll just be a little quick upload video or something. Because I'm not going to waste everybody's time on that. But these darts, I like these. This is a good foam quality. This reminds me of that nice red uh, southeastern foam. Or some really slick beige. That's some nice foam. I might end up chopping these up and making a couple darts out of them. Although they're quality control is a little lacking there uh or maybe the turn with the bumper heads but these are pretty slick i like that so that goes off to the side actual name brand product believe it or not this one i picked up at the dollar general i believe doesn't really matter where i guess free it from its cardboard here no oh, and it's got Mid wow, uh, well, that don't sound any better than one of these little guys here. Yeah, we all know what this is, and I can't do that. So, oh, you know what? I actually got a Busby dart sitting right here, and I'll load this one up, because that has a dart peg as well down through the center of it. Don't see anything that looks like a restrictor. It's actually a pretty good fit. Let's give her a pop. Ooh, well, close range. I said they didn't shoot a foot and a half. There's another one from the Zuru. Wow. Holy crap. The Zuru one actually has some go to it. I'm impressed. Uh, whew. Let's get the darts out here and test it with its own darts. These look interesting. The kid looks all like he's having all kinds of blasts with his entire hand. Oh, my God. Look at this. I'm having a blast with my Zuru gun. And I have my entire hand closed around this. Let's see that? Look. My entire hand. I, I, I got fat boy hands, okay? And at best, at best, I got two fingers. This kid's all full grip. Like, oh, Claymore in this thing. And I got two fingers. One's on the trigger. Wow. So I guess they're marketing these to... to I don't know, hobbits? The kid doesn't look like a hobbit. He's not hairy enough. First then again, I guess anybody because it's going to get prepubescent in the longest of runs. Well, the darts themselves are interesting. They are hollow, like uh, you know, like our old standby here. It's about the same length. To, no, not too bad. As far as a Busby, they're just about as big as Busby, which um, I guess is understandable because... I mean, gotta shut that thing. I will cut myself again. Like that right there, right there, man. That was bad. So, it's actually a spongyish, rubbery head. Not entirely sure how to describe it. It's a two parter. It's got the rubbery part over. There we go. A rubbery, foamy part over top a harder, rubber part here on top of the foam. Uh, I wish I had a Nerf gun sitting somewhere close by because I'd give it a shot to see how well they actually test fit, but I don't have any handy. I don't feel like digging the damn things up. I mean, they're a far cry from this death on a <laughs> death on a mushroom here. Smurf buster. And then whatever the heck these things are, I, I don't know. These are actually slick. I kind of wish I had something handy I could give this. So, oh, hey, I do. Look at that. Right down here. Oh, I got one of my favorite blasters. Let's give her a shot. I want to give her a round here. And we're just going to plop. Oh, man, that falls out like wet noodle. That is bad. We try the Zuru. See how the Zuru works. Zero, go, activate. Whoa, okay, well, I don't know where that went. That landed somewhere in my shop. So, yeah, well, the Zuru X Blaster is actually pretty slick. I'm impressed with that. Uh, maybe I'll pop that one open, too. Can I? Yeah, it's got a bunch of screws in the back of it. Okay, so we got that. Now, to the last one here. The box and everything is just falling all over the place. As I'm digging this stuff up. This is something, I even had something very similar to this as a kid. The, 
This I got from the local Wally World. So it uses a clip system, which I'm know for a fact predates any Nerf thing here. Because I, well, not for a fact. I can't remember Nerf having any early clip systems. And I had a blaster like this back when I was, whew, 10 years old or something along those lines here. Oh, important. Well, it tells you some basic loading instructions. It doesn't give you any targets or anything to shoot at. And just some basic loading. I don't... Looks like it doesn't have a return spring on it by any chance. I'll toss that off here. Your Dart XPB50. Sounds all kinds of fancy, doesn't it? Will be damaged if you pull the clip down through the gun. So don't yank it or you're stupid. Now, <laughs> These, oh my god, I thought I thought they did away with these things. Rubber molded darts. Yeah, you young kids have no idea. This was the standard and the best of the technology of the year had to offer was these things. And they're just soft, soft rubbery foam. And they stick for about three seconds on anything you get. And that's about the length of time. This is what we had to play with, okay? Um, yeah, and just like I thought, they are notched. You can see the slight little notch right there as you try to line it up in here because, God forbid, you just don't have a notch there to make it real easy to go. So it doesn't seem to have... Well, it does have a return spring. It's actually really comfortable. Um, I'm... <laughs> Immediately, the first thing I think is, you know, put down your weapons. This is the police. Because <laughs> I just want to stick something in here. I wonder if it's got a big enough I can set a Busby Panther or something inside this as a LARF. But it'd be kind of fun. It's kind of hefty. You can see there's a, a decent hole size down there. And it is some kind of attempt at a seal. So... I guess I should have maybe read the instructions better. You just set it up in here like that. You just take the thing and give her a little click. You can hear it. And it's supposed to be set. So then you give her a pullback and it advances. This is already better than the one I had as a kid. And give her a shot. Oh! Right in the skull. Literally. Right in the skull. I'm actually kind of impressed with this little guy. Uh, just advance right through all of these darts. This is pretty smooth. Uh, I wonder if... Uh, uh, there we go. And that's going to be the last one. I wonder if I can get it to shoot any of these other things here. Now, they, they don't seem to want to fit. Oh, Stefan's aren't going to go in there either. Here's a off dart I found at work, which is an interesting interesting thing. That don't even fit in there. One of these, one of these giant Mongo things will actually go around the outside of it. Just kind of sh shit shove that. I'm not going to use these things for anything. Just get my freaking twist here. Oh, you bugger. There we go. Just blow the head off or not even chamber because it's monstrously huge compared to the rest of it. Yeah, that's... Just wiggle that right up the edge there. Pretty much like that. Give it a prime. I mean, ah, I break it anyhow. Who really cares? There we go. Okay, now I got that in there, and... Ah, it actually shot! Wow, that's kind of cool. So, I guess out of all these things here that I got set up and sitting here, I mean, I had to rate them. And none of them are worthwhile to NIC primaries by any means whatsoever. But this this little ninja Jaru piece of garbage it won't even shoot its own its own freaking darts. I, I, I don't even think I'm worth. I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a four dollar spring. Once, ah, oh, twice. Look at this. It it. Oh, I want you to do something. Something. Nothing. Here. Where's a mega dart? Yeah. Yeah. There's a mega dart. Try that. Ah, no success with one of them either. God, that thing's an unbelievable piece of garbage. And just for the fun of it, let's... Oh, wow, he's got a way different diameter. Holy monkey. You can see that. That is some difference right there, man. That is pretty pretty off. Because they, they... 
yeah, yeah. This is actually comfortable at least, but this bothers me. This whole off to the side thing. It's still not worth whatever money. I mean, it could be worse. Could have been that. I mean, at least this is at least this is kind of fun. It's got some power to it. This guy, on the other hand, I I'm really kind of nostalgic for this sucker, but it's it ah. Oh, it's actually comfortable, and it's cool. It's got a good look. Uh, I guess if I had to pick one of these to go to war with, oh, it's a tough call because this thing actually has a performance right, and I can grab other people's darts, but, you know, I'm going to die no matter what. So I think I'm just going to die happy and die nostalgic, and I'm going to go with this because it's fun. I'll figure out some kind of mod or something for it maybe down the line. I don't know. That's uh, that's kind of it. You know what? Well, since I got it here, why don't we just, because this thing's not going to last any longer anyhow, I say we pull out the old screwdriver and we start giving her a twist and just take a look. Now, probably could just cut away and do a cut scene with this, but no, uh, the screws are actually nice. Let's see what makes this little sucker tick, huh? For being a crappy blaster, it's actually got a bunch of screws in it held together rather well. I'm kind of impressed. Oh, God. Jake the dog episode. Jake the dad episode. Not Jake the dog. Uh, I keep my TV on here. I have it on mute. It's one of the reasons I look off to the side quite a bit. Uh, you ever see me look up in the corner? It's because something's banging around over on this side. Up here, it's my tower of stuff, and I get nervous every time I knock into it because I've... This horrible feeling it's gonna fall over and crush me and my bastard friends aren't gonna help me Because they're just gonna take photos as I lay crushed under nerf darts and be he lived as he died Lived as he died protecting his virginity with <laughs> with, with a bunch of blasters and that, that won't even come open I, I guess they glued it somewhere Or maybe the screws are just completely stripped out of the hole. Oh, oh I missed one Okay, well, I don't know how I did that in this little thing. It's not that big. So, we're going to get a look at the Ja Rule Ultra Foam Shot Laser Thingy. And, of course, the little orange rings in the front are holding it down so it won't open up. So, yeah, well, that just broke. And there go all the screws. <laughs> <laughs> and there is absolutely nothing about this thing that is salvageable in here whatsoever. It's even got a lousy torsion spring. Well, I don't know. This looks like a Busby setup, for cripe's sake. Oh, that spring is actually rather tough. It's got a pretty good length to it, I'm assuming. Uh, I really can't get this thing back together anymore. I kind of really screwed the pooch on this one, kind of be trying to be clean about it. But no, no, he decided to just go ahead and destroy the thing. I mean, why not? Because you know, that, apparently that's not going to work either. You can go through and just why be clean about something when you can wreck it. So since oh wow, they just popped right out. All right, cool. Well, that's actually respectable for a tiny little spring. Oh, and it's got one of those cup seals. <laughs> Well, I don't know about this stuff. I didn't quite know how to finish this video anyways. Because <laughs> I decided I decided that on a fly to just rip this stuff open. Oh, wow, the grease is actually half decent. Well, this was a expanse of fun. They greased it up really well, though. I mean, it's like everywhere, for God's sake. It's revolting. Like it, that it's just everywhere. Blah. Gross. Oh, well. So... Take my little friends here, my two little buddies, and this has been your friend, your uncle, Clowny, signing off. Remember, if you like this video or anything else I've done or have any ideas for videos, please go ahead, send them. I'll see what I can do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, you know, where I'm going. And <laughs> until then, Bill and Bob and Uncle Clowny signing off. Peace.